Welcome back. Well, there are 1.2 million female farmers in the U.S., but for one farmer in North Carolina, she doesn't want to be known as a female farmer. She wants to be known as a farmer, and she's doing that by blazing her own path while leaving her mark. And this week, she was named a 2022 Top Producers Trailblazer Award winner. 45 miles east of Raleigh, you'll find the crops cured by tradition. For us, it's what we do. That's what you do in this area. Tobacco, once a staple on every farm in North Carolina. Almost everybody that farms around here has tobacco. Now, it, it has changed over the last few years, especially since the buyout. While Susan Weaver Ford's family has nurtured these soils for six generations, tides of change have been a constant. And I enjoy it. I mean, there's nowhere else I'd rather be than doing what we do right now. Susan, a conduit, navigating uncharted waters from the family farm. So I'm the one that's a full-time farmer. My husband's the one that's a full-time teacher. A full-time farmer, Susan is the first female to hold such a role in this multi-generational operation. A lot of people get a kick out of that that, you know, in, in the old world, I would have been the teacher, he'd have been the farmer. Instead of farming with her husband, Susan farms with her father, Ray. And if you ask her how the operation is split, that's kind of a tricky question. Susan manages all of the tobacco contracts and sales, prices the grain, the farm inputs, and remains an integral part of the production team, from planting to harvest, working closely with her father. He has his crop and I have my crop, but we share equipment, we share labor, and producing results is exactly what Susan does best. She's good. Yeah. She don't mind work. She's good. She, she, she get it done. With a mix of tobacco and grains, the next generation is also bringing livestock back to a farm that was once a family dairy. 13-year-old and 12-year-old girls, and then I have a 7-year-old little boy. Together, Susan is teaching her children that good management combined with resolve and perseverance are forces for success. The first, you know, parcel of land I bought, actually I bought it and it got back into our family. And you know, you just get a little sense of pride of being able to get back in your family something that, you know, your ancestors had already owned. A pursuit she plans to pass on as a legacy to her own children as Raleigh continues to grow and encroach on this fertile North Carolina ground. To be able to buy that land and know, as long as you can pay for it, that it's going to remain farmland, you know, it's just, just makes me feel good at the end of the day. As for Ray. Oh, it means everything to me. She, she's everything to me. I'm proud of her. Her is very proud of her. And for Susan. That probably makes me feel better than actually winning the award knowing he's proud of me. A foundation firm in faith and family, driven by Susan's passion to propel this farm into the future. I hope that at least one of my children, of the three, I hope at least one of them, uh, I love it enough to come back and, you know, at least be able to work with me and take it over one day. Congratulations to Susan Weaver Ford, Top Producers 2022 Trailblazer Award winner. Now, Susan this week was at Top Producer Seminar along with her dad, her mom, and her daughter. And she just said it was a surreal experience and she was humbled by the honor this year. All right, we need to take a quick break, but when we come back, John Phipps. Manure versus commercial fertilizer. 